welcome back to my channel. We are doing some more fall shopping today. We're going to Target today and then tomorrow we're gonna do like home goods and Joann's. It doesn't really matter for you guys. Everything's gonna be in the same video for you. Um, but we're going to look at the fall decor, see what they have. I'm really, ex really excited to check out like Hearth and Home. Uh, maybe they'll have some of their Studio McGee stuff out. Got Tori here with me and we're gonna find all the good. <laughs> you looked so like not want to be here. Oh, uh, <laughs> people are just stressing me out. Yeah, me too. Uh, but yeah, so if you're new, make sure you subscribe down below. We already did some fall decorating and shopping on my channel, so I'll have those linked below for you if you want to check them out. Um, I looked at my analytics this morning, and 90% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure you stick around. I have a bunch of makeovers and decorating and stuff coming up as well, and I believe that's it. It's starting to get really hot in here, so let's go ahead and go into Target. All right, like I said, the first stop is Target. I personally never go to Target. I'm curious what stores you guys usually go to, but whenever I get to go to a Target, I get super, super excited. And of course, the first thing you see when you walk in is the dollar spot. I noticed a lot of wood accents, lots of leather accents, and a lot of sort of glassware as well as a few dish towels for just a few dollars. And I just thought they had some really good selection of some different fillers, some florals. They had a few mini vases. And later you're going to see the little variety of pumpkins they had. They had some straw ones, Sherpa, some wooden ones. They had so many different textures and really you can find anything that will match your taste. And I feel like things like these are perfect for college students who have a small dorm or anything like that and just want to add a few inexpensive fall touches. The first section of the store that we found ourselves in was Threshold. They had so many fun things for fall, including these really heavy marble little trays that I'll show you a little bit more later. I just think they're super classy and fun. And in terms of like pillows and blankets and things like that, Target had my favorite. I wouldn't say they had the biggest selection, but a lot of them were the understated, rich, textured sort of style that I personally love. They also had a really good pumpkin selection. They had some that were more of a ceramic, and then they also had the sort of jute rattan sort of pumpkins that are super popular and I loved all the prices on these. Super inexpensive and affordable as well as this really big one you could use to sort of cuddle up on the couch. I think it'd look fun with some really understated fall pillows. Next up, let's talk a little bit about florals and centerpieces. I loved that rattan tray as well as all their vases. They didn't have a huge selection, but I love the sort of modern, also distressed and fun sort of look that they had. They looked sort of worn in and everything. And of course, the ones that came with florals are really good value. The candles we were not a huge fan of in terms of scents. They were beautiful to look at, of course, but they just weren't our favorite personally. And then we're gonna move into some throws. Like I said, they don't have a huge selection, but they have so many different chunky ones, knitted, thin, textured. They just had so many different ones to look at. This one was beautiful. I loved these sort of khaki neutral tones of it. Now we're getting into the more sort of printed, sort of traditional fall pillows and decorations. I loved the selection of pillows they had here. They had some that were more neutral and of course, lots of pumpkins. The next thing I spotted were some of Threshold's beautiful florals. I loved how big they were in the neutral colors, the texture of them, and they were only $5 per stem. And some of the vases they had, they just looked so stunning. I loved the contrast of them and just the different colors. I thought they were so fun and also just realistic looking, super, super high quality. And again, a few more mini arrangements of florals along with a couple different wreaths. I thought that they were pretty well priced and they just had a couple different for one something a little bit more understated and then one with a bit more color. Now let's talk the Hearth and Hand line by Joanna Gaines. I love her style. I have been loving all of her designs and stuff recently and she did not disappoint with this fall collection. So of course the little mini vases and the little arrangements were gorgeous. I love this one that was sort of clay looking and their candles were beautiful. I love the sense of these ones a bit better than thresholds but I thought they were just a tiny bit overpriced for being so little 
but they were so pretty and they had some really unique scents that were very subtle so if you're not into the big bath and body works sort of strong maple fall scents i think these are for you they have some also in different containers depending on your style And they also had this beautiful olive tree. I thought this was so pretty and the pot was very gorgeous. And then we had these garlands. They had some that were more neutral, had that just a little touch of fall and just like a very traditional eucalyptus. They were six feet, so I thought they were beautiful. They also had these little mini florals that were absolutely adorable to pop in little vases. And I just love them all so much. Next we have this little storage box. I thought this would be really pretty and a vignette and like a coffee table to store card games, remotes, anything like that. A really practical storage solution. And here is their selection of florals. I loved how big they were. Of course they are a bit more expensive, but they're so big and beautiful. They're realistic looking. You really do get a lot for your money. And then they just had a couple different reads that I liked that were super neutral. And I thought they were very fun. <music> And this little woven canister was so adorable. I think it'd make a beautiful sort of shelf styling moment. Now we're getting into the table and dinnerware section. The first thing I spotted and loved was their huge variety of mugs. I loved how they had a bunch of different sizes and different looks and all those beautiful fall colors. I didn't spot many napkin rings, but I thought these were understated and beautiful. Their hand towels were really pretty. I loved the simplistic lines, the very subtle plaid, so it's not too in your face fall, but it really screams coziness for the season. They also had some different table runners here. They had so many to choose from. I'm just showing you one here. But again, that plaid is just gorgeous in the simple lines. And if you're looking for some cute, inexpensive dishcloths, they have those as well. And cutting boards are like my new favorite thing. It's supposed to be like a serving paddle, but I think it'd be beautiful up against a white backsplash just for a really nice touch of contrast, as well as these salt and pepper canisters and salt and pepper grinders. Those would look beautiful on a backsplash with a little plant just to make a really pretty understated styling moment. I also love their bowls and their plates. Their serving platters, I loved how organic they were and I liked how they weren't perfect circles either. They were just very organic and kind of stone looking, which I personally thought was a very designer look. Now we're moving a little bit more into the bathroom section that's sort of in the same area. I love the material of the canisters and the little canisters catch-alls. I think those are so pretty and just bring in a really earthy tone. They also had some woodwick candles that I thought were beautiful. And lastly, to finish up our trip at Target, we're going to look at all of the pillows. These weren't necessarily fall, but I loved the textures and they definitely had that cozy feeling for fall. We are back in from Target and I think they had some pretty good things. Yeah, they had some really pretty stuff. I thought their stem selection was really, really good. They had lots of candles, which we didn't personally like very much. Yeah, Tori had a scarring experience. You just made a face at me. We're gonna get going to Chick-fil-A. Um, we'll show you our order and everything because why not? And yeah, then tomorrow we'll be doing some more shopping and I'm excited to see what the other stores have as well. So it'll be interesting to sort of see them all side by side and such so see you at chick-fil-a hi okay so we're gonna do you said a deluxe chicken sandwich and then what was the salad called again Spicy Southwest. Spicy Southwest um, chicken salad, please. I believe that's grilled. And then we're gonna do a small waffle fry. drive through stress me out. Anybody else? I can tell. No funny. one ever orders ketchup at Chick-fil-A. Okay, so here's my thing. So when we went, we went to Chick-fil-A before. We don't go to Chick-fil-A very often. And the one time I went, I was gluten-free because I was trying different diets. And I haven't been gluten-free until literally a few days ago on a whim, so I've never had their like actual chicken nugget things and there's Chick-fil-A sauce so that gives me a stomach ache. That's why we got ketchup, but I'm excited because we got this Southwest spicy chicken salad, got the waffle fries, and so I obviously. got a chicken sandwich. Yeah, what is this? Chili lime pepitas. Ooh, they're like pumpkin seeds. Ooh, and tortilla strip. Are they made of corn? Corn masa flour. It contained milk though, what the heck? So we're gonna eat our lunch 
fuel up and then tomorrow we'll hit home goods and joints so i will see you guys in a bit hello you guys welcome to day two of shopping for fall decor and finding all of these wonderful fall goodies i am currently in the car my mom has an appointment so i'm gonna be in here for like an hour roasting in an 80 degree car watching youtube and i packed myself a little lunch apparently i really like salads in this video but i made a homemade one this time and let me know if you're like this i'm someone who like i simple salads are fine like i love them they're they're perfectly fine um with just like a few simple ingredients and stuff like that but like when i make my own i put everything with a kitchen sink in there so I have like spinach chickpeas red onions I have some celery peppers banana peppers feta cheese sunflower seeds water chestnuts I think that's about it but I also have like a little thing of Greek dressing here but I love just like a big salad like I kind of have to be in the mood for it but I think this is going to be good fuel for our shopping today so I'm just going to sit here munch on this eat my lunch and everything um and then when my mom comes back we're going to go to home goods and also Joann's I'm not sure which order I will come back to you guys and we are going to look at some more fall decor and get more into the cozy spirit while it's over 80 degrees so excited to spend today with you guys and find some fun things for fall. The next place I wanted to share with you was Joanne Fabrics. I am going to be honest, I didn't think they were going to have much. I have come here in past seasons and I really didn't find much, but if you are looking for some really unique, fun things for fall, I think Joanne's had some really, really fun things to look at and some really fun pieces. Of course, they had a bunch of pumpkins and by the way, everything fall was a 40% off and I truly thought that the fall display right when you walk in was so pretty. They had so many different placements mats and things that I think were actually reversible and they were just really pretty and I loved the texture of them. They're really high quality and like I said earlier, so many different pumpkins. They had some sort of ceramic ones in different colors. They had this one that I thought was so adorable. I loved his little shape. Very organic and fun and they had a few different pillows out. They weren't personally my style but I thought they were very, very pretty and they just had so many different ones like this wooden one that are just such a showstopper and I think they they really just are a subtle hint of fall without being too crazy. And if you're looking for some hand towels, they had some at a really good price and a bunch to choose from, as well as a bunch of different fillers covered in velvet and just a bunch of different textures. This aisle was actually really fun to look at. There's a lot of woodsy animals and really organic pumpkins. They're really, really lightweight. I'm pretty sure they were hollow on the inside, but I love the organic look of them. Now we are getting into my favorite part of shopping through Joann's for fall decor was the florals. I thought that they absolutely nailed it. They had such a huge variety, a bunch of big sunflowers. They had pompous grass, eucalyptus, a lot of different shapes and textures. And a lot of them looked super realistic and just very understated. Some were more bold. I just loved this section. I'm going to show you guys a few of my favorites, but I also thought they were super, super well-priced. And right next to those florals were the garlands. I thought that they had a good variety. Again, a bunch of colorful ones. Also a few that were more neutral and organic looking and some really big flowers as well. And then their wreath selection was huge. The wall isn't even coming off as big as it was in real life. Here are a few of my favorites. I tend to gravitate more toward the neutral ones as well as the more natural looking ones. So I love the ones that incorporated a little bit of pompous grass, a lot of white flowers and leaves and stems. I just really, really love that look. And there was another aisle of garlands that had a few other ones. These ones were a little bit more sparse, but still really, really pretty. And then a bunch of little mini florals that were super pretty. Just to pop in a little ceramic vase or something like that. Especially that one. It had so much character. And I just love that these little arrangements make it so easy to put together a little arrangement for fall without thinking too much about it. Thank you. 
Now we are heading on in to Home Goods. The first section that I went to was the pillow section. These weren't personally my style. I thought that they had lots of prints and colors on them, which I'm just not personally drawn to, but they did have a few in these little blanket aisles that were really pretty. Speaking of blankets and throws, I think Home Goods definitely wins in this category. So many different textures. I loved the knitted ones. I loved the chunky ones. They were just so many different ones to choose from and so many different colors. And the beautiful thing is they weren't all necessarily just for fall. They were inexpensive throws that you could use all year round. And I just thought they were so pretty. Definitely the best selection of throws that I've seen. Let's talk a bit about their florals and their arrangements. I thought that they had a decent amount. I thought that they had lots of variety. I loved this pompous grass. I thought it was a very good quality and also just huge as you can see. And I love their little arrangements. You'll also see that they had a few dried floral sort of arrangements and lots of things that are really cozy and fun for the season. I just love the different textures. I love when a bunch of different buds are all combined together just to make a really pretty arrangement. And again, Again, it just makes it so easy to decorate for fall without really having to think about how things go together. And they didn't really have a bunch of arrangements or vases, but the ones that I saw, I really, really loved. I really loved how that one had the pompous grass sort of contrasting with that black vase. And again, with the wreaths, they had a whole wall of them, not as big as Joanne's, but here are a few of my favorites. Now we're going to take a look at home goods and main sort of fall decor section. They have a bunch sort of scattered throughout the store, but I loved this bundle of wheat. I thought you got so much for your money. They had a few different fall items. I will say most of it was like Halloween and I didn't find a lot there, but what I did find was gorgeous. Of course, they had a bunch of pumpkin themed things that I found. I found this cute little pumpkin bowl and a bunch of little pumpkin crocs. Some were orange and some were also neutral. I just thought it was really, really cute to sort of mix into your decor for the fall season. Now on to some tableware. I wouldn't say that these were fall specific. A few of them were, but again, just those beautiful mustard tones, rich tones, some more neutral ones, and I thought they were a really good price. Again, you could use them all year round and just sort of mix in some color with other things like plates and napkins and things like that. But if you're looking for any of those sorts of things or chargers you could use year round, there are so many different kinds. I love the woven ones that are circular just to sort of mix the shapes up a bit and I just thought they were so pretty as well as these sort of flower looking ones. I thought those were really fun as well. taking a quick look at hand towels. They had a lot of Halloween ones. They didn't have as many fall ones, but I also found some neutral ones that I think would be really cozy and fun for fall. Black and white is just a really nice contrast, and then I thought those tan ones were very pretty as well. And like I said, a few different Halloween ones if you're on the lookout for any of those. Next up, let's talk a little bit about materials and things that I really love to use for fall that aren't necessarily fall specific, but they really warm up your space and just make it feel very cozy and fall-like. One of the main things are wood and copper. I found a bunch of those that were so pretty. This little riser you can use to display soaps or anything by your kitchen island or anything like that or your sink and a bunch of wooden bowls to display fruit in or any sort of a seasonal filler. And I loved this display of wooden cutting boards as well. As I was talking about when we were at Target, I love the look of these up against backsplashes. And I also love the mix of the little marble handle in this one. And of course, you'll see a little bit of marble later. I just love the mix of different materials. It just makes it so cozy and inviting for the season. Also, these marble boards were super heavy, but I loved the marbling detail of them. Another one of those cozy 
textures is wicker and you can incorporate this in so many different things especially for storing blankets and pillows for the season all right we are back from shopping and i wanted to talk about what we saw a little bit today what my favorites were but i kind of wanted to go through and tell you guys like where you can find the best florals and best wreaths stuff like that so i just wanted to sort of take a minute to talk about what we all saw in the last couple of days oh kitty does the kitty want to say hi the shoebox I set up is not working as well as I thought. <laughs> if you... What's happening? What? Okay, what you didn't see, our cats are barn cats. They don't, they're, they're not supposed to be inside. So Nemo just yeeted himself onto a window and tore off one of the little frame things. He started like banging all over the house. So that's what that was, back to the fall thing. All right, so let's talk about the store that had the best pumpkins. And this is like best selection of pumpkins or honestly just like some of my favorites. So I would have to say that Joann's had the best selection. I thought they had so many different things. They had so many different textures, colors, sizes, shapes. I love how they had sort of a natural looking pumpkin and that was just really, really fun. And there's lots of different colors to choose from. So I thought that was really, really good. If I had to choose a second, it would probably be Target. I thought they had some really fun finds as well. At Home Goods, I felt like they had a decent amount of pumpkins. Um, they just didn't have as much of a variety as the other two stores. Up next are wreaths and garlands. And I feel like this one is kind of hard to do in terms of like variety and how many they had. Joann's, hands down, they had a wall or pretty much a wall and a half full of wreaths and garlands, all different sizes, shapes, colors. They had neutral, they had more sparse, full, colorful. They just had so many fun finds as well and I just loved all the different varieties. In terms of my favorite wreaths or just like my favorite wreath, my favorite wreath came from Home Goods and I just loved the natural look of it. It's kind of like this straw looking wreath but they also had a really good selection as well. They had a whole wall of wreaths as well. The only thing is they really didn't have many garlands. I don't think I even saw any garlands there so there's that and honestly Target did really well. I liked the sophistication of their wreaths and their garlands and stuff like that. And I just thought that they just had a really good selection as well. Up next, let's talk about florals. I would have to say Joann's won this hands down. I was super, super surprised by Joann's. I have never seen such like a sophisticated, varied selection of fall decorations and I was just really really impressed. It's very similar to the wreaths and the garland. They had sparse ones, they had more wispy ones, neutral, colorful, fluffy, wispy, and just so many different things to choose from. I found so many unique pieces and stems, picks, things like that, that I just really, really, really loved. And they were a pretty good price point as well at being 40% off. Let's talk about pillows. There's kind of two different categories, two different winners in this category for me personally. In terms of variety and quantity, I would definitely have to say home goods. I felt like they had a really good selection. They had like a wall of them, plus they also had a few more scattered in the aisles. But if I'm talking about style and my my personal aesthetic, my personal taste, I would have to say probably Target. I really loved how they had more soft patterns, more simple patterns, and they also had some neutral and just like very muted, beautiful colors like mustard and that sort of rich auburn sort of red. I just think that for me personally, Target was more my aesthetic, but if you like more bright colors um, or just like different color schemes rather than like traditional, um, I think Home Goods is a really good spot to check out. Last but not least, we're gonna talk throws and blankets. I feel like whenever people are getting things for fall, the first thing they think of is a cozy blanket. Well, besides pumpkins. In terms, again, of quantity, home goods, they had so many. If you've ever been to a home goods, they just have racks of them. They have neutral, they have thick, they have thin, they have more textured, they have fluff. They just like hit all the different criteria of whatever blanket you're looking for and they're at a good price point as well. All right, you guys, that about wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun 
shopping around with you guys. There were so many things that I wanted to pick up, but I didn't. College student, love that. But there are just so many fun things for this season. This is just such a fun time of year of transitioning from summer to fall. It's bittersweet, especially for someone like me who's a student and going back to school in a couple weeks. It's just really, really fun sort of finding new pieces every single year and decorating your home in a different way and as styles and trends change and things, it's just really fun to incorporate those and learn more and more about them. But that is it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe down below and you let me know what your favorite piece of decor was or what your favorite store was that you saw today. There was a Kirkland's in that complex, but we didn't have time to go to it. Let me know if you'd be interested in that or like Michael's or anything like that. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and my channel. The last couple days have been so, so fun and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.